Hey guys, DJ here with another tutorial from the B101 series and this one is part two and we're looking at bee houses and apiaries from forestry right now because they are the prime um, little houses we're going to be using for the bees. However, saying that there is one more further advanced one but I'm going to cover that in a separate tutorial as it is multi-block and it has a few features that might take a little bit of time. So to start with you've got the bee house and that is a very simple um, it's a very simple bit, uh, block to make. You can make it with pretty much logs and a few planks and a bit of this and that. And the apiaries are a lot harder to make, uh, require a carpenter and plenty of seed oil and a bit of other things as well. So they might be a thing you could uh, create a little bit later in the future if you don't have the resources to do it yet. So as you can see, I've just placed them and for this I've actually like mapped out a bit of an area. Like I've cleared out a nice area of my um, Server, as you can see, there's all my my other buildings over there. But I'm putting it away from here because some some bees will not like uh, industrial disruption from machines and will stop producing for that reason. So I'm just going to make it daytime because most bees will not work in the nighttime unless they have a certain attribute, which we'll go into a bit later. So I will use the apiary because we don't have the frames here. So uh, the apiary produces a bit fast, um, produces a reasonable amount faster than the bee house. However, the key difference is that the bee house, when I put in a princess and a drone, will give me a lot longer lifespan of the bees and they'll work longer. So it's a little bit better if you're trying to do some tree breeding, tree crossbreeding and that kind of stuff. However, I see that enderman going crazy in the background. Um, I would recommend if you are trying to breed out bees, then you do use the apiary or alviary, which we'll get to in another video. So first up, we, we've we've done our collecting of the normal hive bees. So I've got plenty of meadow princesses here and forest drones. So I'm just going to quickly show you what they do. Um, so this spot here is for the for the princess. I was just checking to see if we go in there, but it cannot. So the princess goes in the top. You can put any princess in there you like. And as you can see here, it says pristine stock, which means that the princess will not die off uh, after mutations. If it is a, I don't think I can actually get the other one without actually scooping, so I can actually do that quickly. If it is a, there was a bee, there's plenty of beehives around here somewhere. We'll see if we can find ourselves, um, I think, ignoble, I think it is. Oh, didn't do that very smartly, did I? So if I just turn it to, now playing adventure, now I'm playing, done it wrong. But anyway, ignoble means, I've just destroyed two perfectly good beehives. Ignoble means that the uh, princess will die off over time. And eventually, every time it mutates or transfers uh, into another princess, you'll end up with a, a slight chance, I think it's maybe 7% or 10%, but it does increase over time, um, of it, the princess disappearing. So for me, I've only got pristines because that's all you can get in a creative mode. So all I'm going to do is the princess in the top and the forest drone you want to, or any drone you want to put in below. And you'll see that it produces, it'll uh, take a little bit of time and they will have a little bit of uh, fun time. A woohoo if you play The Sims. And you'll get a queen. So they, they merge into one, the queen. The queen's going to spend a bit of time producing. And next you see it's working because of the little um, spatter pattern things, whatever you call them, like little bees flying out into the world, finding some honey or pollen to make honey, maybe. Um, this queen is going to go until it dies. And what we'll find here is we will find some... No, oh, we actually, actually see there is no flower, so it won't actually work at the moment. But eventually you'll get an output here of some combs, maybe some uh, honey if you're really lucky. I don't believe you do get honey, though. Uh, certain items can come from here, um, as well as another princess and a couple more drones, and depending on some of the attributes of the queen as to how many you'll get. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put them all in. Now, the queen will always be the same as the princess, but when they breed out, you might get a princess of a different type. That is what mutation is. That wasn't a smart idea, was it? Put the apiary back down. Forest drain. So, I'm just putting it... Oh, I've done it again. Stupid creative mode. Don't know why I'm pressing. <laughs> I must be pressing something on the keyboard that's going crazy. So, if you go back here to the 
no flowers. It's saying that there's not enough flowers around it of the particular type that it wants. So what I'm actually going to do is I know which flower it wants. Uh, I believe it is a combination of the red and the yellow. You can probably put one. You can probably put um, just one. I'm just going to put a couple in there, and we'll see how it goes. Now, now it's happy. Now it's, the temperature is normal. Now I wonder how I get rid of that eye. No, oh, there we go. Uh, the temperature is normal at 70% and the humidity is at 80% which which is why I chose a normal by like a, a plain forest biome because the temperature and humidity is it's somewhere in the middle so it, sh it shouldn't make too many problems and as you can see here I've just got a glow flower which was produced by one of these bees these bees naturally will spawn flowers around them as they um, mutate and, and breed and produce babies and that kind of stuff so these bee houses we've got little frames on them like that and these, you can already see the apiaries have already burnt down faster. Um, so for the frames, the frames will increase the speed, and, and I've got other attributes as well, but I'm just going to use these ones for now. They will increase the speed um, of the, the queen's the queen's demise. So uh, as you can see, this one is already heating down to the yellow, yellowy, greeny kind of colour, which will eventually make it die a lot faster. So these ones, well, that one's actually quite low. I must put that one in a bit earlier. And these ones over here are actually still quite full. This one's quite high considering I put in first. So that's it for this one. I'm not going to go into frames for the moment. I'm not going to go into alvearies because they uh, require a separate tutorial by themselves as well as this understanding these tutorials and um, the temperature and climate and humidity and all these kind of things and uh, and then little tips and all that, all these extra stuff. Oh, there's another little flower there. I haven't seen that one before. Blue hydrangea. Anyway, I'll finish it there. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll go into a bit. We're going to do the alveary next in part three. And then we're going to jump into uh, some breeding branches and all that kind of stuff before we go back into all the more advanced kind of blocks like uh, DNA sequencing and uh, apiaris clothing. And then we've got there. Es Esquita, if I said it right, bit of a French word there. Um, the frames, error messages that you get in the AP, the apiaries, bee houses, and alvearies, as well as looking at some of the abilities and attributes and how to analyse that and all these kind of things. We'll be looking at, and to finish off, we'll be looking at liquid DNA sequencing. So I hope to see you there. Hope to, hope you join me through the journey through uh, forestry and the other mods, bees. And this is DJ signing out.